My name is Mark Arnish and I'm the owner and operator of Mark Arnish Farms. We run a 2,500 acre irrigated operation here in eastern Colorado where we grow corn, sugar beets, silage, seed wheat, and sunflowers. And our farm has been in the family since 1952 when my family immigrated here from Austria. Agriculture is changing. It's changing now. It's changed a lot just in the last two to three years. And our margins are, are changing with that. And in order to stay sustainable, to stay profitable, precision, precision agriculture is where we're going. And that's from variable rate seeding, variable rate fertilizer, and then certainly precision irrigation. Water touches everything in Colorado. And if we can apply that water in the time and place in which it's needed most, that's truly precision agriculture. That's what keeps us profitable and that's what keeps us on the land. You know, growing up in a small town, we're going to always have our roots tied back to where we grew up. And knowing that my great grandparents farmed this farm is enormous. That uh, my grandparents drove an open cab tractor that they thought was the best, newest technology. And now to where my dad drives a tractor that you click a button and it drives itself straight. And we use technology like Hortau that tells us how much I mean we're irrigating. It's just, it's crazy what the technology has done. But on the sustainability side, you always have to think of the bigger picture. Uh, advance more in the future, we have to be a lot more delicate in what we do. We're going to have a lot more people coming after us saying that we're doing things incorrectly even though they've never stepped foot on a, a back dirt road. And I think with technology such as this and th that we can save water, it's really going to help us and have our back in, in the long fight. Technology is continuing to evolve in agriculture. It's, it's in the crops we grow, it's in the machinery we plant it with, and now it's in the soil that we grow the crop in. And having a product like a Hortel unit in the field gives us a, a look into our soil like we've never had before. And it's precise and it's consistent. You know, the way we've always done it in the past is we've shoved a soil probe in the ground, pulled out a core and felt it. Well, the field method is not good enough anymore. It has to be more precise, more accurate, and more predictable. And so like the soil probes and like the technology that we use in our farm, I think sensor technology is the wave of the future. And managing that plant's stress and optimizing its growth curve puts us in a better position to be successful come fall. I would consider myself fairly techno technologically savvy, but like my cell phone, which I only use 10% of anyway, uh, technology can sometimes become overwhelming, especially as busy as we are on the farm. And so that's why it's vitally key to have support in the field and support on call at any time to help disseminate that information, understand what it is. We can have too much data and we need to take that precision agriculture that we've had and make it decision agriculture where we can actually make good decisions based upon the data we're collecting. And to have a staff and have a team behind you to help you with that is, a, is key in my mind. It's all about trying to limit complexity. Uh, there's so much coming at us in agriculture today, markets, forecasts, weather, technology. And so to make a better decision, we've got to have better data. We've got to have something that's easily understood, um, easily modified, and that we can make decisions off of. And it's just like the Hortel unit in, in the Blue Ribbon. It's keeping that trend line within the lines. That's simple, and, and that's something that I can train an employee to review. It's something that I can monitor, and, it, and it's something that is easy to draw a correlation from. And I, and I think simplicity would be a nice thing to have in our complex world.